Hi everyone. Today we discuss about the rules of image formation by convex mirror. In the previous classes we were discussing about the different uh, images formed by the concave mirror. Concave mirror can give you different types of images. And uh, now we are discussing about the image formed by a concave mirror, convex mirror. For that we should study the uh, rules of image formation by convex mirror. And convex mirror is also a spherical mirror. It is having all the points as that of a concave mirror. And the center is called pole and the F is the focus of the mirror. And it is also having a center of curvature or the center of the sphere from which the uh, small reflecting surface of a convex mirror is taken. So these all points are similar to that of a concave uh, mirror. And here I will show you the ray diagram with the, all these points on it. So here we have a convex mirror, here bending surface is the non-reflecting side and bulging out surface is the reflecting side. So this is the bulging out area that is the reflecting side. So we should keep always an object in face with the reflecting side or the not here on the other side on the left side. So left side is in face with the non-reflecting side of a mirror. So we should keep the object always to the left of the mirror here left side this part or the reflecting side is coming on the left of the mirror okay so we should keep the object always on the left of the mirror and here this is the first rule here you can see a, a ray which is parallel to the principal axis so AO AO is an incident ray that is parallel to the principal axis of the mirror. This is the line. This is an imaginary line passing through the center. We call this as the um, principal axis. So I can name it XY. So XY is the principal axis. And here the incident ray is AO. AO is parallel to the principal axis. And what happened to the A ray AO after reflection? So definitely this ray AO will undergo the process of reflection. And that will satisfy the condition of reflection. So, as per the laws of reflection, reflection will take place for the uh, incident ray AO. And after striking the mirror at uh, this point O, the ray will pass through ON. So, this is the direction of movement of the ray after reflection. ON is the direction. So, this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray. Clear? But that reflected ray is appears to be coming from a point principle of principal focus of this mirror so when we look from this side this ray the reflected rays appears to be coming from this point f of the mirror f means it is a principal focus so this is the first rule if a if an incident ray is uh, strikes the mirror parallelly or incident or strikes uh, or falls on a mirror parallelly falls on a convex mirror parallelly and that ray will also undergo the process of reflection and reflected ray will go in another direction but along a, another path but when we look from the reflecting side of the convex mirror that ray is appears to be coming from appears to be coming from from the point f of the convex mirror so these all points are uh, coming or these all points are lying in front of the non-reflecting side of the convex mirror. And here this is the incident ray, this is the reflected ray. But when we look from this side, this ray is appears to be from. In the case of a concave mirror, after reflection that ray will pass through principal focus. But here in this case, that ray is appears to be coming from F when we look from the other side or from the reflecting side of the mirror. This is the first rule. Clear? And second rule, if a ray is passing through the focus of the mirror and what will happen to the ray after reflection? If a ray is passing through the principal focus, so this is the reflect uh, convex mirror having a small aperture m, m dash and let P be the middle point P pole of the mirror and this is F and this is C and XY is the principal axis and second rule say, states that if a ray is passing through the 
passing through the principal focus of the mirror and and here this is the ray that is passing or that ray is from the principal focus of the mirror that ray will emerge or that that ray becomes parallel to the principal axis after reflection so this is the incident ray this is the direction of the uh, incident ray the incident ray we, i can use a solid line to draw the incident ray and this is going towards the point f really no rays can enter inside the uh, this side but this so this is wrong this is the reflecting sorry this is the reflecting side of the mirror not this one this is the reflecting side of the mirror this is the point p and this ray this is the uh, incident ray that is moving towards the point f clear this is going towards f that ray becomes parallel to the principal axis after reflection so this is the in incident ray this is the reflected ray for this uh, reflected ray for this incident ray so let me name all the rays ao is the incident ray and on is the in, uh, reflected ray here the difference is here the incident ray is going to the point a f it is not really passing through because no rays can reach behind or behind the this side of the mirror or no uh, rays can reach here in this side but when we look from that side that ray is going to the point f or this is appears to be going f and it get reflected from the point o and this is the ray after reflection so this is the ray the going to the point f and this is the reflected ray that becomes parallel to the principal axis of the mirror this is the second point so here we are taking some imaginary points like this is an imaginary point f is a imaginary focus because this convex mirror is not having a real focus this is the imaginary point that's why we are using uh, imaginary uh, rays here or this is not real no ray can reach behind this uh, uh, this mirror or no rays can reach uh, this side not reflecting side of a mirror that is why we are using dotted lines to draw the reflecting uh, what reflected or incident ray uh, that is after this or in front of the convex mirror so this is the second rule so according to the second rule if a ray is passing towards the point really not passing through it is just going towards the point f that becomes parallel after reflection so this is the uh, second rule of reflection by a convex mirror and third rule that is same if a ray is passing through the center of curvature of the mirror what do you happen to that ray if a ray is passing through the center of curvature mm dash let mm dash be the aperture and p is the pole of the mirror f is the principal focus and c is the center of curvature of the mirror and let xy be the uh, principal axis of the mirror and what happened to the ray if a ray is passing through the uh, center of curvature of the mirror okay a ray is passing through the center of curvature of the mirror so here i consider a ray that is pointing towards the center of curvature this is the ray pointing towards this ray is pointing towards the center of curvature this is the ray pointing towards the center of curvature let me redraw by using dotted lines this is a ray pointing towards the center of curvature of the mirror so this is an incident ray ao is an incident ray and this ray strikes the mirror at this point and from here this ray will traces backward and this is pointing towards the point c and it reflects back along the same point so in the figure you can see only one ray that shows both incident ray as well as reflected ray so this is the third rule if a ray is passing towards a point not through the point towards the point c because no rays can uh, really pass through c because c f all these points are 
coming at the back of the mirror or non-reflecting side of the mirror in the case of convex mirror. So no light ray can reach really behind it. So we are telling that if a ray is approaching to the point C or it is going towards point C that traces back along the same path but in opposite direction. So that is the third rule. Okay. And similarly fourth rule if a ray is uh, making some angle with the principal axis or making an angle with the point P with the same angle that ray will passes from the convex mirror. So that is the fourth rule. So by uh, using these four rules we can find this is the final rule. If a ray is making some angle with the principal for uh, this what um, making some angle with the principal axis or some angle with the point P that ray traces back by making the same angle here I is equal to R. This is the fourth rule. Clear? So I will repeat all the four rules. First rule if a ray is parallel or pa uh, parallel to the principal axis that ray becomes uh, that ray is appears to be from the point uh, F of the mirror principal focus of the mirror and second rule if a ray is passing through the passing to the principal focus becomes parallel to the principal axis after reflection from convex mirror and thirdly if a ray is going towards the point c we cannot say that passes through f passes through c like that because these all are approaching to a particular point because these all points are behind the mirror no light ray can reach can't reach behind the uh, reflecting side not reflecting side so from the reflecting side all the rays are getting reflected but when we look from that side of the uh, no, reflecting side of a convex mirror these all rays are appears to be from these different points from the pole or from the center of curvature that is why we are using appears to be from the point c if a ray is approaching to c it coming in a uh, path that is going to the point c that traces back along the same path but in opposite direction and if an instant ray makes some angle with the principal axis of the convex mirror definitely that ray undergo the process of reflection by making same angle with the point P or same angle with the principal axis of the convex mirror. So these are the different rules of image formation by convex mirror. Okay. So rules are equal but here all these points like C, F all are imaginary points. So we should not write passes through F or passes through C. It's approaching to or going towards the point F or going towards the point C in the cases of a convex mirror. So definitely we will get a special type of uh, image by a convex mirror. It cannot give you any real image uh, like a concave mirror. And here we will get, we are going to get because all these points are imaginary coming at the back side of the mirror or face with the non reflecting side of the mirror so we will ne never get a real and inverted image but uh, but we will get a virtual and erect image always out of a convex mirror okay and in the next section we will be discussing the image what are the different locations of the object and what are the different characteristics of image formed by a convex mirror in detail okay see you in the next class